I'm Yuto Tanaka, a company employee. I'm a salesman working in an office in Tokyo. I'm finally here. It takes me two hours to get to the office because my house is so far away, but it's a challenging job, so I'll do my best today. Good morning, Tanaka. Oh, Miss Amemiya. Good morning. Her name is Sarah Amemiya. She is my direct supervisor, a cool beauty who is extremely good at her job. She is always calm and cool. <laughs> You're looking good today. Oh, but you seem a little out of breath. No, I'm fine. Really? Don't push yourself too hard. We're going to get busy today too. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, I want you to have a look at the material for the presentation tomorrow. Let me see. Yeah, it's pretty fine. Here, here, and here. I'll write down a few corrections and you can fix them later. That was fast. Thank you. That's very helpful. That's what I'd expect from Miss Amemiya. I'll see you later. Yes. Yeah. Whoa, Miss Amemiya is really cool. She's always so dignified and beautiful and she's perfect at her job in supporting her subordinates i admire her he was acting cool again I tend to act cool in front of tanaka but i want him to think i'm a cool boss i also want to get to know him better i hope he thinks i'm a good boss by the way he was cute today too he's kind of like a puppy he is always smiling and like wagging his tail his smile always soothes my heart but i was worried that he looked a little tired is it because we've been busy lately oops i should stop thinking. Tanaka is good at his job, so if I'm not careful, he'll overtake me. I have to work hard to be a cool boss. Okay, work, work. I'm more motivated when I'm with Tanaka. The next day, I took two hours to work again. Great boss, challenging job, stable company. I have no complaints about my working environment, but the long commute is still a problem. Ugh, just a daily commute alone is a challenge, but the rent is too expensive to move if it's near the office. It's more than double the price of the cheap apartment I lived in during college. Well, if I have to think about the future, I could quit my job and go back to the countryside. I hear there's a serious labor shortage, and it's an easy way to live. I think it would suit my laid-back personality, but I don't want to throw away my full-time position. The company is nice too. I'm torn. Calm down! I still get nervous when I try to talk to Tanaka. What am I getting up so early for? Calm down! I'm going to be cool today too! Um, Miss Amemiya? Hi! Huh? Tanaka? Tanaka, did you just hear that? No, I was thinking something as I was walking, so I couldn't hear what you were saying. I only came here because I saw you. I'm glad to hear that. You came to me because you saw me. You're just like a dog. How cute you are. Miss Amemiya? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. I'm just... Uh, checking the schedule here. I see. Come on, hurry up or you'll be late. Oh, that's right. But won't you be late too? Don't worry. I'm a fast runner. As expected. Miss Amemiya was so cool today too. I wonder if one day I can be as cool as her. Okay, for that, I have to make today's presentation a success. Let's see. The presentation materials are... Oh, it's not here. Why? It's strange. I thought I put them in this bag. No, I took it out after I went home yesterday to practice my presentation. And then... I was so tired I fell asleep. I made a mistake. I left it in my house. I'm in trouble without that. I'm going to report this to Miss Amemiya anyway. It's faster if I call her. Yes? Yeah. I'll be right there. I have that document before the revision in my backup. So if I hurry up and revise it, it should be fine. Whew. It's rare that you make a mistake. I don't think I need to give him a lesson. No. But if I want to be a good boss, I have to be hard in my heart and teach him. Miss Amemiya, I'm sorry. I'm... How dare you? It's no good for getting important documents. I'm so sorry. If you can't do it right, maybe you should go back to your hometown and take a break. I guess you're right. Yeah, well, I have a backup this time, so we'll be fine. Be careful next time. Thank you very much. What's more important is to switch things up. If you go into a presentation feeling down, you will fail. Get your act together. The presentation went well. That's great of you, Tanaka. But I think I spoke too harshly yesterday. I could have been taken as if I I was asking him to quit, but for some reason, when I said that, instead of feeling depressed, I felt he looked more energized. Good morning, everyone. Hmm? Tanaka doesn't seem to be here. Is he taking a day off? Director, do you know where's Tanaka? Oh yeah, Tanaka has resigned. He submitted his resignation yesterday. He had a lot of paid holidays left, and he's not coming today. What? No way! It's a shame. He was a good guy. Well, I can't force him to stay. He has his own life to lead. Oh no, it's my fault. It's all because I told him to go back to his hometown. I would hate it if my boss said that to me. I wanted to be considered a cool boss, but this is not good enough. I wonder if Tanaka will ever come back. I liked him. 
No, I don't deserve to be sad. Even if he can't come back, I have to apologize anyway. I love the countryside. I don't have to take a crowded train for two hours to work every morning. And it's quiet and easy to live here. Rent is cheap and I get to share my vegetables with my neighbors. I was a little worried, but it was the right decision to quit my job. I should have done this from the beginning. I should be thankful to Miss Amimiya for pushing me when I was unsure. I'm sure she could see right through my problems. I can't use my full strength at work when I'm exhausted from commuting. So working in the countryside like this suits me better. Well, I'll be helping out at a nearby farmhouse today. I guess I'll be like this for a while. Tanaka! Yes! What? Miss Amimiya, what are you doing here? I'm glad I found you. I've been looking for you for a long time. Oh no! Why are you looking for me? Oh, don't tell me. There's something wrong with my resignation? No, no. I came here to apologize to you. What? I'm sorry. Even if I apologize, you may not forgive me, but let me apologize. I'm totally sorry. I'm really sorry. Wait, wait. There's nothing you need to apologize for. So, after all, it's pointless to apologize anymore? No, no, that's not what I meant. I felt that I should apologize to you. Or rather, I felt that I had failed to thank you. It's just that the timing of the contract renewal of the apartment and other things happened. I was too busy, so I couldn't. So, you don't even let me apologize? Of course. Of course, it's like I kicked you out of the company. No wonder you don't want to see me. That's not true! Do you think it's your fault that I left the company? Isn't it? Because I told you to go back to the hometown. What? I always acted cool because I wanted you to think I was a cool boss. That day, I thought it would be cool to give my subordinates a mistake after he made a mistake. And I ended up using a strong tone of voice. That hurt Tonika deeply. Um, I think you've misunderstood something. I'm not hurt. In fact, I'm grateful for what you said. What? Really? Yes. I used to spend a lot of time commuting to work, and I was wondering whether I should quit. Then, Miss Amimiya gave me a push, and now I think it was the right decision to quit. It was the right decision to quit? So, you don't resent me? I don't resent you, but I'm very grateful to you. I'm relieved. I always wondered what I would do if Tanaka hated me. If it was going to be like this, I shouldn't have been so cool about it. Haha, <laughs> to me, you are a really cool senior, even if you don't act cool. Um, if you want, why don't you come back to the company? I want to work with Tanaka. What do you mean by that? I like you. I've been spinning my wheels trying to get you to like me. But I'm going to be honest now. I'm not very cool. And your cuteness has always thrilled me. I've really missed you since you left the company. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's why I want you to come back to the company. Thank you very much. I also think you're a wonderful person, and I'm honored to hear you say so, but I don't think I can go back to the company. It's okay about your resignation. We're under staff right now, and I can still rescind it. No, that's fine, but renting a room near the company is expensive, while renting a room further away would require a long commute. It used to take me two hours every day to get to work. Oh, so that's why you were so tired. Yes. <laughs> don't worry. If that's the case, you'll be fine. I'll take care of it. What? Then, it's decided that you are coming back. The next week, I went back to the company. Everyone at work welcomed me warmly, even though I had quit once. The best part is that I can now- Tanaka! Thanks for your hard work! Let's go home! Yes! Are you still nervous? Because I can't believe I'm living with Miss Amimias. I already told you not to call me that when you leave the company. My house is closer to the company, and the problem is solved. Besides, we're dating. Miss Amimia confessed her feelings for me, and we're going out. And now, I'm living with her at her house. Thanks to her, my commute to work is much shorter than before. Sarah, well, I'm happy that I can be with you. Me too! I once longed to live in the countryside, but my life with Sarah is going to be much better. I, a working man at an SMB, Yuto Tanaka, work for his boss, Reika Onizuka. Reika is a very bossy person and often gives reckless orders. It's normal to be able to do this. How many years have you been in the workforce? How long are you going to be a student? I'm sorry, but to be honest, this workload is quite demanding. <sighs> do you even make an excuse? I'm sad. I had high hopes for you. To be honest, I'm disappointed. I'm telling you, if you can't make it at us, you'll be useless elsewhere. I was made to work from morning till night under Miss Onizuka. I was called in on holidays as a matter of course. Overtime work is a matter of course. What? Overtime pay? Does anyone really think we get that? On my way home from work, I happened to meet a friend from my school days, Takahashi. What? You started a business? 
Well, yeah, it was tough at first, but recently, it's finally starting to take off. That's great. How are you doing? Haven't you lost some weight since I last saw you? Maybe so. I don't have time to eat lunch or anything. Hey, are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I cannot work on my own. I have to work twice as hard as everyone else. What's that? Did someone tell you that? My boss, Miss Onizuka. She's a hard woman, but I think she meant it for me. That's why I have to work harder. No, even so, you should take some time off. If you break your body, you'll lose everything. But... Anyway, if you need any help, I'm always here for you. Don't hesitate to tell me. Thanks, but I'll try a bit harder. One day after a hard day's work at the office, I'm on my way home in a daze. I didn't notice the truck approaching from the front until the last minute. Jeez, oh no. I was able to avoid it just in time, but... Ugh, I fell into a ditch on the side of the road. As a result, I broke my right leg. The doctor strongly advised me to take a leave of absence from work and rest. How unlucky. But there were blessings in the midst of misfortune. Mr. Yuto, please rest. You mustn't overdo it, okay? Please look at me, the cute angel, and be healed. The nurse, Shizune Mizuhara, was there. I'm always getting shouted at at work. The kindness of people makes me feel better. <laughs> it makes me feel awkward to be silent. You have to give me a good laugh. I'm sorry. I was being healed. <sighs> it's embarrassing to be affirmed to. But I really think you're a cute angel. Oh, you flatter me. And excuse me, I have to call the company. I told the company what happened and asked for some time off. The answer I got back from Miss Onizuka was, well, as expected. What? What kind of joke is that? It's not funny. We're in the middle of an important project. You're going to take time off because of a broken bone? How much do you have to let me down? I won't allow you to take time off. Crawl to the office, okay? <sighs> I sighed deeply at the expected reply. Sorry, so I'm off to the office. Thank you for your help in the short time I've been here. Wait, wait! Are you serious? Are you really going? I can't let you go! I just told you to rest! But I was told to come to work. What's more important? The company or your body? Well, um... Do you have to think? You should answer it straight away! Well, but there's no one who's going to be sad when I fall down. If the company need me, even though I'm useless, then I'm fine with that. Miss Onizuka is thinking of me too. I hear the project is in trouble. More than anything else, it's an order from my boss. Don't say that there's no one worrying about you. I'll be sad if you get in trouble. I'll cry. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm not joking. You should take better care of yourself. Oh, God. You're starting to get on my nerves. What? Listen, Mr. Yuto, I heard it earlier in the call, but your boss is not normal. Do you really think that a boss who tells a subordinate with a broken bone to come to work, even if he has to crawl to the office, really cares about you? Well, that's... You're too nice. You should think of yourself first. Don't take yourself too lightly and quit that kind of company as soon as possible. It's an angel's order. Miss Shizune. What a kind person she is. I think what she says is right, but still... As I was thinking this, the door to my hospital room was open with a bang and my colleague, who is always good to me, came to visit me. Yuto, are you alright? I heard you were almost run over by a truck. You almost got reincarnated in another world, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry, this is not the time for jokes. Thanks for coming all the way out here. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I know you're having a hard time at work because I'm out. Hey, hey! Don't worry about the company at a time like this. <laughs> it's not going to change just because I'm out. 
You need to do something about your low self-esteem. Also, I'm not just visiting you today. I'm here because I have something to tell you. Just listen to this. Voice recorder? What I heard from there was a conversation between Miss Onizuka and her man. Huh. <sighs> Thank God Tanaka is an idiot. That makes things easier for me, and that's great. I thought you were hard on him because you're thinking of Tanaka. How can that be? I don't care what happens to him, I just use him because he's useful. Yuto, I'm sorry. I knew you were being unreasonably forced into the job and I couldn't do anything about it. No, it's fine. I'm not going to say anything bad. You should quit the company. You can't keep going on like this. <sighs> I see. I didn't realize Miss Onizuka thought that about me. I thought she was expecting me. What do you want to do? Do you still want to work for this company? Well, I think I'm done. Thank you both. I'll call Miss Onizuka in a bit. Hello, Miss Onizuka. What? If it's an off, I won't allow it. If you insist, you'll have to quit your job. Well, I don't think anyone will hire you if you quit the company. So, get back to work. Then I'm quitting. Huh? What did you say? I said I'm quitting. Are you serious? There's no places you can work with your skills. Are you trying to repay me for everything I've done for you? No, this is no good. I can't think straight when I hear her voice. I was going to talk back to her today. When I was thinking about that, Miss Shizune grabbed my smartphone and raised her voice. It's none of your business! He doesn't need you to worry! Mr. Yuto is a wonderful person! There are plenty of jobs out there! Who the hell are you? I'm an angel who came down to Mr. Yuto. You'll be fired, you idiot! Uh, Mr. Yuto? Uh, she pissed me off, so... I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Was that alright? <laughs> huh? You laughed at me! That was not okay, right? No, thank you for doing that. I feel much better now. Oh, really? I'm glad to hear that. Yes. I'm going to make a fresh start and do my best. I'll try to believe in myself a bit more this time. Then, I changed jobs at Takahashi's company. I was going to get down on my knees and did whatever I could, but... I'm glad you contacted me. Let's work together from now on. I think I've got a really good friend. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to be a real asset. Yujo, why did you say you cannot work on your own? You're so good at your job! <laughs> you don't have to flatter me. I'm already over my old company. No, I don't. I'm serious. I can't believe you were able to do all this and not be rewarded at all. You must have worked for a really bad company. I'll give you a decent pay raise. Okay, thank you. By the way, for Miss Onizuka... Onizuka, how's the job I entrusted you with? I'm sorry, I haven't finished it yet. You're useless! She's been throwing all the work to Tanaka so far, so she's not getting the job done at all. So, she's incompetent, and all she does is talk. She's been acting all high and mighty all this time. She deserves it. Shoot. She's having a hard time getting the job done because she'd been throwing all her work at me. She was stuffed by her manager and was forced to leave the company because she was not well-liked due to her previous behavior. Did Miss Shizune curse work? Miss Onizuka told me I was incompetent a lot, but I've managed to get by at my new company. Takahashi's words may have been an exaggeration, but there was never anything I couldn't do. I've gained a bit of confidence in myself. And then, by chance, I met Miss Shizune again. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're getting on so well. Do you feel it? Yes. You look a hundred times better than the last time we met. I was prepared to support you if you lost your job because of that. <laughs> then, maybe it would have been better that way. <laughs> what? I'm just joking. If that happens, I'll work for you too. You're joking. 
You're a lady killer, aren't you? I don't know about that, but I'd like to thank you for what you've done for me. I'd like to say that's not necessary, but... Then? It's a great opportunity. So, I'll take your word for it. Then, would you like to have dinner with me? Yes, I'd be delighted. I'm still happily living with my trusted friends and loved ones. <sighs> now, the courtyard is clean. Thank you for always helping me. No, no! It's fun for me too. And it feels good to have my school cleaned up. I, Yuto Tanaka, was a former soldier in a mercenary unit and was feared as a cleaner. I'm retired from the army and I'm going to change my job to a cleaner at a high school. Apparently, cleaning is in my blood. This high school is a famous local delinquent school. The principal has been looking after me since I retired from the army and asked me to clean up the school. As a delinquent school, the interior of the school was a mess and the students were generally bad. Even so, there are kind kids everywhere. The girl who just helped me clean up is Chihiro Higashiyama. She helps me out of the goodness of her heart. And today, she helped me too. Are you sure? You're busy too, aren't you? It's fine. I always say I do it because I like it. But if you insist, please buy me an ice cream. It's so hot. I feel like I'm going to melt. All right, that's no big deal. Oh, you're in the right place. Here, I'll give it to you. You're so kind to go out of your way to give him a job. Hey, don't trash it. There's a bin in the classroom. What? This is your job. We throw the rubbish away so you can have a job. You should be thanking us. Okay. So, I guess it's you guys who have to clean up. Hey, hey, what are you talking about? Hey, hey, Mr. Yuto, you should apologize. They're really merciless. They'll beat you to a pulp. Ha, that's too late. I'll make sure you never talk to me like that again. Don't worry, Chihiro. Everything's fine. You should stay back. It's dangerous. What? What the? Oh, no way! You're so strong. You're not just a cleaner. No, I'm just a cleaner. I am and always have been. How intimidating. The atmosphere you have is of someone who has been through a lot of hardships. I just realized one thing. I'm going to clean out the delinquents who are the cause of the increase in rubbish. Then, the school will be clean. It's my job to clean up the school. When I think about it, I felt uncomfortable when the principal said, please clean up this school. If he just wanted me to clean up, he wouldn't have used those words. Did he expect me to go this far and ask me to do this? Whoa! You can do it, Mr. Yuto! I may not be able to do much, but if you don't mind, let me help you. Yeah, let's make this school better together. I also want to make this school better. This is how me and Chihiro started cleaning up the school. Mr. Yuto, there's a student being robbed over there. Okay, I'm on my way. I'm coming. <laughs> Let's get something out of you. This is a present I'm buying for my sister's birthday. That's good. Give us a present instead of your sister. Eek! You'll have to give that back. If you want money, get a real job. No, no, I'm just borrowing some money. Don't get too mad. Well, I don't know when I'll pay you back, though. I'll say it again. Give it back. And don't ever do this again. We're just trying to be nice to you, so get out of here. Or, do you have to see the pain to understand? Ugh. You guys always resort to violence. Well, it's easier that way. I went easy on you. It shouldn't have been too serious. Don't do this again, okay? Do you understand? I'm, I'm so, so sorry, sorry, sir! Are you alright? Thank you very much. That was really cool. Sorry, Mr. Yuto. I know you're tired, but there was a fight over there. Yeah, I'm on my way. Let me know if you need anything else. Yes! As I was heading, there were two delinquent students in a fierce fist fight. You guys are pretty energetic, huh? Huh? What the hell are you doing? Don't get in my way. Let's start with you. You guys won't listen to me when I tell you to stop fighting. Then, well, I'll fight with you. In return, if you lose, you're not allowed to fight from now on. Fine, let's start with you first. I'll make you regret talking so big. Hey, what the hell is this guy? He's too strong. Dard, I can't beat him. He's on another level. If you really want to get violent, come to me. I'll fight with you if I'm not busy. Okay, I'll keep my promise. 
but I'll definitely beat you up one day. After that, I continued to do cleanup work with Chihiro. Before long, I became feared in the school by delinquents. While I was greatly supported by the students who were having trouble with the delinquents. In addition, more and more people were helping me besides Chihiro. Hey, your promise that you'll do whatever I say if I beat you is still valid, right? Yeah, in case I lose. Yes! What will I ask you to do if I win? Something like going out with me? What? That's not fair. I want to go out with Yuto too. You can't do it. I'm the one who's going to beat Yuto. You're the one who can't do it, aren't you? You didn't even hit him a bit the other day, did you? Oh, hey, you guys don't have to fight. Yes, of course, of course. Or rather, we can cooperate and defeat Yuto for now. You're saying something disturbing. What's the matter with you, Chihiro? Nothing at all. You look like you're having fun with girls. No, I'm not thinking in that way. Are you... jealous? No, no, no way! I'm not jealous of you. Don't get the wrong idea. Is that the rumored Yuto Tanaka? He looks weaker than I thought. Fool! Do you know how many people have been defeated because of his appearance? I've seen him fight, but we'll never beat him. What? You guys are talking funny. Were you, Mr. Yugo? Is that Yuto Tanaka stronger than me? N no, no, he's not. No one in the school can beat you, Mr. Yugo. Of course not. All right, I get it. I'll help you guys and beat him up. Are you serious? I can't let him get carried away like this. Well, if Mr. Yugo's in, we're sure to win. Mr. Yuto, have a look at this. What is it? A letter? It says that Ryugo Oniyama wants to have a one-on-one -on -one fight with me. Ryugo Oniyama, is he famous? Yes, he's the head of the biggest local biker gang. And he's definitely the strongest in the school. He wants a one-on-one -on -one fight with you, with the whole school watching. He's trying to make a spectacle of it. I see, that's just right. If I defeat him, the others will be quiet as well. I'm sure you will be fine, but be careful, okay? I don't want to see you get hurt. Oh, don't worry. I'll finish it right away. <laughs> I'll buy you an ice cream if you win. So please, do your best. Ryugo Oniyama was there at the appointed time. A large number of his men and bystanders were there too. Apparently, he wants to crush the hopes of ordinary students by defeating me. Yo, I praise you for coming here without running away, cleaner Yuto Tanaka. <laughs> Here I am being called by the same name I used to be. You did what you wanted in my territory. I'm not going to let you beat me easy. This school isn't your territory. I'll beat you with ease. Don't worry. I'll shut your little mouth right away! Ah! Huh! He threw sand in his face and blind him! Ha 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 ha! Did you think you'd get a fair fight? This ain't a gay match, it's a fight! I know, I've been fighting in that world my whole life. What? He dodged my punch and poor visibility! What's wrong? You should be the leader of a biker gang, but that's all you got? Stop being cheeky, you bastard! I'm going to clean up this school. That's my mission. I'll show no mercy for that. Sorry, this is probably going to hurt a little bit. Nah. Ugh! Darn! You're too strong! The, the cleaner, cleaner one! one. Woo! Oh no, Mr. Yugo lost! You were kidding! Then... There's no one in this school who can beat the cleaner! This is how I succeeded in cleaning up the delinquents in the school. Now, Chihiro and her friends will be able to live in peace for a while. Well, thank you for your help, Yuto. You've done more than I expected. Thanks to you, this school is saved. I want to thank you in some way. I can give you a better job if you want. No, I like this job a lot. Please let me keep it. Well, if that's what you want, I don't have a choice. I'd be very grateful if you could continue to help the students at our school. Mr. Yuto, um, I heard about you. Is it true that you are a legendary mercenary who came to save this corrupted school? And now that your mission is over, you're quitting your job as a cleaner? I think rumors are amplified. I'm not quitting. I'm going to be here for a while. Well, that's good. You're really, really... Really not going away, right? I'm not going to lie to you. Thank goodness. Now we can clean up together again. Oh, cleaning's a peaceful one, of course. At any rate, 
Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for saving our school. Yeah. Ah, there's a promise. I'll buy you an ice cream. Since we're celebrating, you can have two. Let's go, Mr. Yuto. Oh, dear. It's not my intention to have a student buy me something. Well, at least for today. And so, my days as a cleaner continue. I clean the school together with the students. Thanks to us, the school is now calm and peaceful. Hoping that the day never comes when I'm called a cleaner again. I'm Yuto Tanaka, working in the real world. And I'm actually a president of a company I started. <sighs> What's up with the Psy president? Seems like you've been troubled about something recently. Yes, I'm sure you already know this since you're my secretary. But I heard our sales department has a high turnover rate. Yes, there are hardly any employees who stay longer than three years. I know sales is a hard job, but isn't it still strange? What do you mean? I've notified the sales manager not to do any unreasonable sales. I don't think it's that bad of an environment where all the employees want to quit. What do you think from your standpoint? I totally agree with what you just said. The working environment at our company should be one of the best in the industry. We're paying a good amount to our employees too. Benefits-wise, I can't think of a reason why new employees don't want to stay. It could be possible that there's a problem with personal relationships within the office. Do you mean there is somebody that's causing trouble? I think we need to do some investigation. I'll interview some people in the sales department. And at a later day... Hmm... Even after you interviewed some people, you have no idea? Does that mean there's no conflict among the employees? They might not have been able to report it honestly. When we started thinking about it, there were so many possibilities. But there's gotta be a reason why all the new employees are quitting. I know. Then I can be in their shoes. Mr. President, what are you thinking? I got it. I'm actually gonna work there as an employee for a while. As long as I dress differently, they're not gonna find out it's me. Yeah, that's a good idea. Th that's not going too far? Nah, it'll be fine. Please take care of the office while I'm gone. I went through the process of working at my own company, and one month later... Okay, this should be good enough. I'm glad I don't look like a big old president. But I'm starting to feel nervous, even though this is my own company. Today is my first day here. I'm Yuki Tanaka. I'm gonna work hard, so I hope we can work well together. I'm Setsuna Kurosaki, and I'm gonna be training you as your boss. I'm gonna be strict from the beginning, so be prepared. I'm gonna see my client now, so follow me. What? First thing in the morning? I heard I'd go to see the clients after I received some training at the office. That sounds so lukewarm. I don't know who told you that, but in the sales department, I make the rules. Keep that in mind. Y yes I had no idea. We have an employee like this? When you come with me next time, be sure to bring the document. But, but, isn't that something the person who got the appointment is supposed to do? Do it, okay? It's ten years too early to talk back to me. Huh. <sighs> I somehow managed to finish it. Good job, Tanaka. Seems like you came back alone. What about Miss Kurosaki? She said she'd go straight home and headed to the station. Miss Kurosaki's training is really strict, so watch out. So many employees got destroyed by her. Hey, if you say things like that, you're gonna regret it when Miss Kurosaki finds out. Th that's right. She must be really bad for her subordinates to say this much. This hasn't been reported to the top in the past. Has she been stopping it in the middle? Anyway, I need to keep paying attention. Miss Minase, what's going on with this? The negotiation with the client we met the other day hasn't progressed at all. Uh, I'm sorry. The client wants to make a decision after looking at other properties. And you're just going to let them do that? I don't believe it. 
You can just mention some good conditions or something, and just make them sign the contract. But we can't offer any discount with this property. Then you can tell them a lie or anything. Excuse me, Miss Gorosaki. That's not allowed as part of sales, is it? Who do you think you are? You're a new guy and you're gonna talk to me like that? An employee who can't do his job doesn't have any say. Miss Minase, if you don't improve, you can't complain even if you get fired. Y yes I see. This is how she's been threatening her subordinates. I guess Miss Gorosaki was the cause of the high turnover rate in the sales department. Tanaka, what about you? Don't tell me you don't have any appointments. Don't worry about it, please. I have ten of them as of now. I'm planning on meeting five clients today after this. Uh, oh, you're doing pretty good, I guess. I got it. I won't make your attitude a problem then. But keep it in mind, only an employee with numbers have a say. If you can't get the actual contract, you know what's gonna happen, right? <sighs> I managed to get out of it. I might have gotten marked by Miss Gorosaki. Um, thank you for saving me. You just started as this company, and it's amazing that you already got 10 appointments. You are? I'm Akari Minase. It's my second year working here. I have only gotten a contract on my own just a few times. Miss Kurosaki didn't like me, as you could see. I could get fired any time if I don't improve. No way. <sighs> I'll listen if you're okay with me, so please cheer up. Really? Yes, but I'm meeting my client soon. So, if you can wait, why don't we go out for dinner? D thank you so much! I'm sorry to make you come out even though you're tired. Don't worry about it. I can't just leave you alone when you're troubled. Plus, I wanted to hear more about the sales department. From what I can tell, it's clear that Miss Korosaki is targeting you. Yes. Currently, I'm working on the negotiation for purchasing the whole apartment. But Miss Korosaki is upset and tells me to hurry up and make the client sign the contract. Um, that should take a long time. Purchasing the whole apartment is really rare. Recently, she tells me that the client is hesitant because of me. She is pushing me every day to let her do the negotiation. D <laughs> does she tell you such a thing? Cutting in at this point is like stealing your achievement. I think you should make a complaint. Is that how it should be? But as I get yelled at by her, I get petrified. I can't say anything in front of Miss Kurosaki. I don't care about my achievements, but leaving the negotiation in the middle seems irresponsible to my client. What should I do in the future? Miss Minase, you're doing a great job making such a big contract progress this far all by yourself. There's nothing to feel bad about. Can you let me take care of Miss Kurosaki? What? Miss Minase, what's going on with the purchase of the whole apartment? If there's no progress, I'll go see the client next time. Th that Anything wrong with that? I heard about the situation, Miss Kurosaki. You again, Tanaka? You one-sidedly yell at your subordinate and scare her to mess up her emotions. That's a malicious trick. Oh? That's quite a remark. I'm just teaching my subordinate what sales is about. Then, why do you try to take over the negotiation? Changing the person in charge in the middle is not going to benefit anyone. Okay, so what's your point? You should know it already. You shouldn't take away Minas' work. If you consider your subordinate and client, you should let her do it all the way. You have quite an opinion, Mr. New Worker. But what authority do you have to say such remarks to me? I do have authority. I didn't want to reveal myself if I didn't have to. Yuto Tanaka. What? You're, by any chance, the president of this company? People don't notice me just with this much change of outfit. Miss Kurosaki, I got to see how you treat your subordinates. Mr. President, uh, I'm so sorry for what I've done. Um, 
I was thinking too much about this company and I went too far with the training. I don't want to hear your excuses now. I clearly understand how you treat people weaker than you are. Usually, I should file a case at an appropriate institution. But I let you get by with quitting for personal reason. What are you going to do? For your future benefits, I think that's better. Uh, I understand. I'm going to do that. I never thought Mr. Tanaka was the president. I'm sorry for being over-friendly in the past. That's okay. More than that, I'm glad I was able to help you out. Thank you so much! It's been a month since then. Since then, how's the atmosphere at the company? Because we dismiss Miss Kurosaki, the sales department seems to have returned to its peaceful state. The atmosphere has become better, and the performance is improving. I guess everything is settled for now. Um, Mr. Tanaka... Miss Minase, what are you doing in front of the president's office? Are you going home now? If you're okay, will you let me return the favor to you? N no thank you. Don't worry about it. I can't just do nothing after you help me. I'll do anything I can. Anything, huh? Hmm. Then, let's have dinner at the restaurant we went the other day. Yes! For my employee smiles, I can probably work hard on anything. I'm Yuto Tanaka, a high school student. The most beautiful girl in school is actually in my class. Good morning, Tanaka. I was looking at the horoscope and I ended up leaving the house late, so I was almost late for school. Uh, oh, I see. My Sagittarius was in 10th place. You are a Taurus, right? Y yeah. Taurus was in 1st place. I think something good is gonna happen to you today. Oh, thank you. But you remembered my constellation? Yes, you said your birthday was in May. She's Ayaka Ayazato. She's smart, beautiful, and kind to everybody. She's very friendly, even to a boring and introverted guy like me. I'm impressed that she remembered my birthday, which I only briefly mentioned to her. Maybe she's interested in me. I heard Kiriyama from the soccer team asked Miss Ayazato out and was turned down. She was nice to him and he thought she was interested in him. Oh, there are many guys like him. Especially introverted guys tend to like a girl if she's kind to them. Uh, I know how that is. But many good looking guys at school have asked her out and they've all gotten turned down. I guess she isn't planning on dating anybody at the moment, but perhaps she already has someone in mind. There's still a lingering possibility that that person could be me. I feel like Miss Ayazato looks the happiest when she talks to me. I'm sure I'm the one. However, after school on that day, is that Takahashi? He's walking with Miss Ayazato, and they seem really close. They're heading off somewhere after school. Does that mean they're going on a date? As I saw them being intimate, I realized I was so full of myself, and I was crushed. I guess it's only natural. There's no way the one Miss Ayazato likes could have been an introvert like me. Takahashi is good looking, and he's the captain of the baseball team. Tanaka seems so down. Did he get dumped or something? What's the matter, Tanaka? You don't look very well today. I know. Can I guess? You were last in the horoscope this morning, right? What? Oh, yeah, that's actually right. There's no way that I'm telling her that I was brokenhearted from seeing her and Takahashi walking together. If that's the case, here you go. Is this a canned coffee? It's the lucky item for Taurus. With this, even if you were the last play, something good will probably happen to you. What a nice person. Hey, Tanaka, thanks for showing me your notes the other day. I didn't fail the test thanks to you. Here, this is to show you my gratitude. It's a bread I often eat after practice, and it has a lot of calories. Wow, this is super big. But you didn't have to do this. What are you saying? You always help me out, so let me at least do this. If you ever need any help, be sure to let me know. Takahashi is such a good guy. He's a good match with Zayazato. Tanaka, I'm sorry to bother you, but can you help me carry the homework to the teacher's lounge? It's a little too much, and I don't think I can carry this all by myself. Sure, I'll help you. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Tanaka, a lot of people seem to count on you. You never decline when people ask you to do something. My family's motto is to do one good deed per day. I've been trying to follow it, and before I realized it, I've become a handyman. Since I don't have a club, I have a lot of free time. I see. If that's the case, can I ask you for a favor too? Actually, I would like to get some relationship advice from you. 
relationship advice? Do you like somebody? But I've never dated anybody, so I don't think I can be of any help. It's okay. I think a guy can understand how a guy would feel better. I would love to hear your option. If that's the case, I can help you if it's okay with you. Thank you. I'm counting on you. By the way, the person you like is... I can't tell you who it is because I'm embarrassed. He's very kind and cool. <sighs> it must be Takahashi, I'm sure. Oh, that means they haven't started dating yet. I would like to tell that person how I feel, but I don't know what to do. If I try to get close to him in a weird way, he might get turned off. What do you think, Tanaka? I think any guy would be happy if Miss Ayazato tries to get close. If I encourage her now, she'll probably date Takahashi. But if I tell her to back off, would I get in the way of their relationship? I think you should try to get close to him without hesitating. There's no guy who would not like it if you approach them. Really? Then, would you be happy if somebody actively tried to get close to you? Well, uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, I see, I see. Thank you for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. I actually encouraged her, but I want Miss Ayazato to be happy. Good morning, Tanaka. What a coincidence running into you on my way to school. Oh, you take this way? Since we're here, let's go to school together. Sure, but wow, you're super close. Why is she assertively getting close with me? Isn't that what she's supposed to do with Takahashi? Oh, I know. Before she tries it out with Takahashi, she's looking at how I would react. Nevertheless, if I look at her closely, she's really so cute. I wish this moment would last forever. Ever since then, Miss Ayazato actively tried to hang around with me. She came to talk to me during recess and asked me about my favorite books. During lunch break, she asked me to eat lunch with her. Wait a minute, what about Takahashi? She hasn't talked to him at all recently. And after about a month... Well, I'm thinking about asking him out soon. Oh, I see. Finally. But I'm worried if he would accept it. Right, she hasn't interacted with Takahashi much. She might have been trying to get close with him when I wasn't around. It'll be okay. I have a feeling that it'll work out. I'll be rooting for you. Tanaka, thank you. I feel encouraged. I'm gonna take the plunge and ask him out. Way to go! Tanaka, I've liked you for a long time. If you're okay, will you go out with me? Wow, Miss Ayazato, you don't have to practice asking him out. Plus, it was so real that it seemed like an actual confession. Oh, wait. What's this atmosphere? This is no practice. The person I like is you, so this is the real deal. What? Wow, wow, wow. Things are moving too fast. I can't keep up. But you were asking me advice on a relationship, right? I wanted to know you more, so I pretended to ask you advice for a relationship. The reason why I was trying to get close with you was not to practice, but to get your attention. Is that what it was? I assumed you liked Takahashi. I saw you two walking together after school, and you guys looked intimate. <laughs> that was when I was having a good talk about you with Takahashi. We were talking about how everybody relied on you and you were a very nice person. Takahashi is a good friend. I don't have any intention of dating him or anything like that. I had no idea. But why do you like me? You are relied on by everybody. You can work hard for anybody. As I saw you working hard like that, I came to think that you were great. What do you think about me? I told you, there's no guy who wouldn't be happy if you confess your love to them. I like you too. Really? I'm so happy. And on a later day? Hey, Tanaka, I heard you started going out with Miss Ayazato. I was turned down. I'm impressed. Where did you hear that? Wait, you asked her out? If he's been turned down, he probably doesn't have very good feelings toward me. Good for you. I think you guys are a good match. By the way, I was the one who advised her to pretend she was asking you for relationship advice. The person she was asking for relationship advice wasn't you, but me. Is that right? You're such a nice guy after all. I know, since we're dating now, let's call each other by your first name. Uh, sure, then, uh, Ayaka? <laughs> you seem shy. I hope we have a great future together, Yuto. Miss Ayazato and I started dating. Everybody at school warmly blessed us. I guess it's because I've been helping people out daily, so nobody was against us. Today, we're still spending our days happily together. I'm a working adult. Yuto Tanaka was coming home from work earlier than usual. My girlfriend who lives with me told me that she needed to talk to me. She was looking at me with a somewhat cold expression on her face. 
So, what do you want to talk about? I'm sorry, Yuto. I want you to break up with me. What? Why so suddenly? Do you know Takahashi from our company's sales department? Yeah. Everyone says he's a future executive candidate at a young age. Takahashi confessed to me. He asked me to go out with him. And you said yes? I couldn't help it. You've been a mere regular employee for a long time. Compared to Takahashi, you have too little potential. She's right. I'm not just a mere regular employee. I'm a dropout at the company. But I cared about you more than anyone else. Have you ever demonstrated your feelings through your actions then? If you want me to be happy, you should be able to show me your achievements. What she says is harsh, but I can't really argue with her. Then if we break up, I'll have to leave your house, right? Of course. This is my house, and you need to leave now. Isn't this too sudden? I asked her to at least wait a few days, but she persistently said no. I gave up and left. I'll send your stuff to your parents' house. Okay, thank you for everything, and I wish you and Takahashi all the best. Uh, I didn't think I'd really be kicked out. If I think about it, she should be the one at fault for cheating on me. I should stop. I can't help but think all the bad things when I'm alone. I guess I'll just stay here tonight and look for a place to move to. Um, are you Mr. Yuto? Huh? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry if I misunderstood you. You seem to be in some kind of trouble. The person who approached me was Shizuka Nanamori. She's a high school girl who lives next door. She was a nice girl who greeted me every time we saw each other in the hallway. You were also at this restaurant? Yes, I was here with my friend just now. You were acting a little differently than usual, so... I asked my friends to go home first and then called out to you. You saw me sighing. That's embarrassing. It's not really a big deal. I thought about not telling the truth, but she's worried about me. So I decided to be honest with her and tell her what happened to me. It's terrible that she kicked you out after she cheated on you. I can't believe she dumped such a nice guy in the first place. A nice guy? Yes, you he helped me carry my large luggage. You walked with me at night on the way from the station. We are neighbors, and it's natural for us to help each other when we are in trouble. <laughs> I think that's what makes you such a good person. Well, if you want, why don't you come live with me until you find a place to move? What? What does that mean? My mother is overseas, and I'm living alone right now. Now that she mentioned it, I don't think I've ever seen her family before. Having a man around makes me feel safe in many ways too. I also want to repay you for all you've done for me. Miss Nanamori. I'm sure Mr. Yuto wouldn't do anything to me. <laughs> of course I wouldn't do anything to you. Actually, as I don't even have a place to stay tonight, her offer is very helpful. Thanks, I'll take your word for it until the next time I move in somewhere. And so began the life of me and Miss Nanamori living together. We each took one room as our personal space. As being a lodger, I'll take care of more of the housework. If you have any plans, please write them down in this calendar. Well then, I'll prepare the meal. Can you cook? Well, I can at least do that much. I've always been good at housework and I've done it all by myself until recently. Well, please enjoy your meal. Thank you for the meal. Mmm, oh, it's so delicious! You're a great cook, Mr. Yuto! Thank you, I'm glad it suits your taste. When I come home after a long day at work, Miss Nanamori greets me with a smile. It didn't take long before spending time with her became my peace of mind. <sighs> if only I didn't have homework, I could chat with Mr. Yuto more. Homework? I kinda miss it. If you want, I can help you to do your homework a little. I think I know most of the material in the high school range. Really? Thank you! I'm always struggling with it, so you've been a big help. You always help me out too, so don't worry. I owe nothing more than to be allowed to live in a warm home. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> it feels awkward. Then one day... I'm home. Huh? You're home early today. What's wrong? Yeah, I got the afternoon off. 
Can you come over here for a minute? I want to show you something. Happy birthday, Miss Nanamori! Wow! What a big cake! Miss Nanamori is surprised by my birthday present. How did you know it was my birthday? I'm sure I didn't tell you. Sorry, I just happened to see it written in the calendar. I just wanted to give you some happy memories. Mr. Yuto... Miss Nanamori's eyes are slowly filling with tears. <laughs> I'm so happy! My mom called me from overseas, but she wasn't in this house. I've always felt lonely. Uh, don't cry, Miss Nanamori. Come on, try it. Yes, thank you, Mr. Yuto. This is the happiest birthday ever. Y you're welcome. I can feel the two of us getting closer and closer every day. I was on a real estate website narrowing down the list of potential apartments for my next home. I guess I'll have to say goodbye to this room once I decide on one. I'll miss it, but I can't really ask for too much since I've been living here for a while. When I told her that, Miss Nanamori looked surprised. What? Are you going to leave so early? You don't have to be in such a hurry. No, you've been very good to me. I can't rely on you any longer. You don't have to worry about that. Thank you for saying so, but it's not good that we're living together when we're not even lovers. Uh, then, let's be lovers! What? I've lived with Yuto and seen many wonderful things from you. I've already fallen in love with you. So, will you continue to live in this house for longer? Miss Nanamori, her confession echoes in my head. I never thought she felt that way about me. I thought I couldn't live here anymore because I don't want to cause you any more trouble. But if we can be lovers then, I guess I won't have to worry about that anymore. Well then you mean... Yeah, please go out with me if you don't mind. Thanks, Mr. Yuto! <laughs> Whoa! I have to hold back here! Be a man, Yuto! We're lovers from now on! After living together for a while, me and Shizuka started dating. I wanted to enjoy our time alone together, but there were reasons why that was impossible. I'm home! Welcome home, Mom! That's right. Shizuka's mother is coming back from her overseas assignment today. Nice to meet you! You are... My name is Yuto Tanaka. I am dating Shizuka. Please, allow me to be in a relationship with her. I bow my head while saying that. I was prepared to be blamed for starting a relationship while her parents were away. But her mother's reaction was surprising. Raise your head, Mr. Yuto. Admit it or not, I'd even like to ask you to take care of my daughter. Uh, are you sure? Yes, of course. Shizuka sounds very happy when she is on the phone these days. That's only since Mr. Yuto came to his house. Shizuka, did you tell your mom that we live together? I also told my mom that I had a boyfriend. <laughs> No parent would be against their daughter finding someone she likes. Once again, please take good care of Shizuka. Thank you for saying that. I will make you happy, Shizuka. A month has passed since then. Shizuka and I are still doing well. I can work hard at the office when I know that someone important is waiting for me at home. On the other hand, I've been hearing rumors about my ex-girlfriend lately. Hey, that girl who jumped and cheated on Tanaka? I heard she was dumped after being three times by the other guy. Really? I knew she was going to get a bee sting. She can't find a boyfriend right now, so she's using a dating app to look for one. Wow, that's terrible. I'm home! Welcome back, Mr. Yuta. <laughs> You're going to teach me how to cook today, right? I'll try my best to learn. We love each other, and we'll live happily ever after. My name is Yuto Aisaka. I'm a typical ordinary junior in high school. And the girl who's standing out in class is Haruka Nijima, my classmate. She's beautiful and friendly, and she's out of my league, so to speak. She's the popular girl in our class. I get to sit next to her, so boys envied me a lot at first when we got new seat assignments. Oh, I can't find my eraser. Where did it go? Here you go. 
You can use mine if you don't mind. Thank you. You're always nice and kind. N not really. You should help each other when somebody's in trouble. I'm not nice. Don't get me wrong. Are you running hot and cold on me by any chance? You look embarrassed. I... I'm not embarrassed. Yes, you are. Your face is turning red. I said I'm not. Hey, you guys are too loud. <laughs> we got ourselves in trouble. It was my fault. I'm sorry. No, I was talking with you, so you don't have to apologize. You're always kind to me. You let me borrow some money when I forgot my wallet the other day. Okay, to return the favor, I'll make one wish come true. You can ask me whatever you want. Whatever? Isn't that too much? Well, if I'm ever in trouble, I might ask you then. After some time had passed, one day, there was an accident at an intersection near our school. It happened when students were coming to school. The person who got involved in the accident was Haruka Nijima. The cause of the accident was the driver using his smartphone and not noticing her crossing the intersection. The injury itself from the accident wasn't too bad, but instead... Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? She lost all her memory. It's what they call amnesia. You like the song, right? You must be bored in the hospital, so you can listen to this. Did I like this song? Hey, are you dumb? She's lost her memory. Oh! <laughs> S sorry. I'll bring something else next time. Sh sure, thank you. After that, she gradually started distancing other people. Hi there! I got you some fruits. I hope you like them. Why did you come here? I thought I told all my classmates that they didn't have to come here anymore. But you still come here every day. I don't have any after-school activities, so I have a lot of free time. Would like some apples? I'm good at peeling them. Here, I made a rabbit out of an apple. Would you like one? No, thank you. Everybody treats me with great caution. And at the end, they all wish that my memory would come back. You don't like to be treated with great caution. And is that why you keep your distance from everybody? That's right. I don't know who I am and what I've been doing where. I just want to know who I am. I just want them to tell me. But everybody keeps things about me away from me, as if it's something they can't talk about. Actually, I made a promise with you before you lost your memory. A promise? Yeah, you promised me that you'd make my wish come true as long as it's just one thing. What? Did I really make that kind of a promise? Sorry. I exaggerated it a little, but it's not too far from what we said. Aren't you taking advantage of the fact that I lost my memory and thinking about something bad? No way! Then, let me ask you this. What were you gonna ask me? I want you to be my friend. A friend? What were you to me before I lost my memory? Just a classmate. We sat next to each other. We weren't particularly close. So, I don't know much about you, and I can't tell you much. But I was wondering if we can become friends from now on. Friends, huh? Since I became like this, you're the first one to tell me that. Um, I'm still immature, but I hope we can be good friends. Same here. I really hope we can get to know each other well. This is how Nijima and I became friends, and I kept visiting her until she was released from the hospital. I was a popular person? I can't imagine that. Everybody, including boys, girls, and even the teachers, thought you were reliable. I see. I can feel the efforts that my former self made. I openly told her everything she wanted to know. During her stay at the hospital, her memory never returned. Even after she was released, her memory never came back. She kept distancing other people except me. A while ago, the classmates were talking about us and saying you and I might be dating. Is it because we eat lunch together, like this? I think it's because we always go home together after school. 
I'm sorry to have caused the misunderstanding. If you're troubled... Don't worry about it. We should help each other out when somebody's in trouble. If it's a friend, you should help her even more. Aisaka, thank you so much. Anyway, where do you want to go today? Let's go to an amusement park today. This goes back to right after Haruka just got released from the hospital. I want to get back my memory as quick as possible. To do that, I think I should go visit familiar places. As she said so, I decided to help her. And now we go to places she is familiar with like this. My mother told me that I like the view from this ferry wheel so much. Do you have any idea why you like it so much? No, not at all. I'm not sure what's so fun about a fairy wheel. It goes so high, and it's scary. I don't understand. I guess you're scared of heights? Oops, whoa! Whoa, are you okay? Nijima, is there anything wrong? I take it back. I think a fairy wheel is something very good. Hmm? Thank you again for today. My memory didn't return, but I got to spend some quality time with you. Really? I feel bad because we simply go on dates and go home. What are you saying? That's what it makes it better. What? Oops, nothing. Don't mind what I said. Oh, okay, I got it. The next day... Um, Isaka, do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. I see. Really? You look happy. Did something happen? No, nothing really. Uh, oh. Really? Then, where do you want to go today? Today... I want to go to an aquarium. Oh, just to let you know, we do this so I can get back my memory. It's not that I want to go to an aquarium to have a date with you. Don't misunderstand. Uh, oh. I already knew that. One day, while we were spending days like this, Nijima's memory suddenly came back. Haruka, I'm so happy for you. Your memory's back. Y yes thank you. And sorry to make you worried. It's okay, it's okay. Let's go hang out again. She seems to be enjoying talking with everybody, just like how she used to. Since she got her memory back, she'll be fine without me. She doesn't need me anymore. I feel a little lonely, but this is all good at the end. Wait, Isaka, where did he go? I wanted to go home with him again. What? Isaka already went home. I saw him go out of the gate a while ago. He usually waits for me. What in the world is going on? Oh, there you are. Wait, Isaka. What? Nijima, what's the matter? Why are you in such a hurry? <sighs> I'm the one who wants to ask what's going on. Why are you leaving without me? We always went home together. That's because your memory has returned. You don't need me anymore. Even if I'm not there, you've got everybody else. I don't have to be the one to go home with you. Why are you saying such a thing? Once I got my memory back, you had served your purpose? Did you think I'd say something like that? That's not... Then, stay with me. Stay by my side. Don't say that I don't need you. I like you. What? You've got to be kidding me. I'm not kidding. B but why me? You're the one who supported me and stayed with me while I was suffering from memory loss. While I didn't have my memory, I was scared. Everybody treated me with great caution. I knew their intentions were good, but I was still scared. I felt like I wasn't wanted anymore. But then, you became friends with me. You decided to build a relationship from scratch. You devoted yourself to support me. I can't help but like you. Why are you silent? S say something. I'm sorry. It's my first time to have a girl ask me out, so I'm not sure how to answer you. Don't ask me that. There's only one answer that I want. If I'm qualified even a little bit. Nah, not good enough. Try again. 
What? Did I just get criticized? I like you. Nobody else. I don't want you to degrade yourself like that. It makes me sad if a person I like degrades himself. Y you're right. I'm sorry. Um, please be my girlfriend. I'll be sure to make you happy. Yes. I'll be more than happy to. This is how Nijima and I officially started dating. I'm Yuzo Tanaka, a single, 26-year-old office worker. Ah, uh, I'm finally done. I'm so tired today from work again. Every day, all I do is work. If I had a girlfriend at least, then it might be fun, but that's only a dream. Ah, uh, Tanaka-senpai, you must be tired. Hey, Kuwahara, good work. What's up? You look like a middle-aged man that only lives to work. That's so specific. I'm not middle-aged yet, you know. <laughs> Even if you aren't now, you will be soon if you're just letting time pass by. You don't seem the popular type, so at this rate, you'll be single for life. You say that, but you're only two years apart from me. By the time I will be middle-aged, you will be too. Oh, uh, that's so mean. It's not good to talk about age to women. Uh, who's talking? Ah, you're scary! Putting age aside, I'm cute and I'm popular, so I'm in a different boat from you. You'd say that you're cute yourself? Yeah, it's a well-known fact that I'm cute. Tanaka-senpai, you probably lived alone but haven't had a girl come once, right? Uh, that's true, but you keep attacking me precisely. Did I do something to you? Yes, nobody's come. What? As I expected, you're not popular. You seem so happy. Is it that fun to tease me? Yes, very much. With such a big smile? But if you insist, I can go visit your house. I feel bad for you, so the cute me can make you food too. What are you scheming to do? Oh, you're surprisingly sharp. I was going to find things to tease you about your house. Uh, I thought that was about it. I refuse. Stop acting so tough. Not my fault if you regret it. I'm going to head back home, but I bet you're going to spend some sad time alone. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Ah, uh, she teased me till the very end. She's always making fun of me because I don't have a girlfriend, huh? I want to prove her wrong, but that it's true that I don't have a girlfriend, and I don't have plans for one either. I guess I'll go home too. Huh, I can have fun too. I bought some snacks. A good drink after work is the best. Huh? The key is unlocked. Oh, hey, Yuto. Welcome back. Oh, hey, Nanami. Long time no see. I missed you. She's Nanami Tanaka, my younger sister. She's currently a sophomore at high school and lives with my parents in a city nearby. Unfortunately, her face isn't similar to mine, and she's pretty. I missed it too, Yuto. Sorry for coming in without letting you know. I bought some groceries but had some stuff I had to refrigerate. That's why I gave you the key, so no worries. I really appreciate you coming to cook for me. No problem. I like doing this. I was worried if you were eating properly since I was busy and not able to come so much recently. My sister is too kind. You have talent for spoiling guys. <laughs> Wait a little bit. It'll be ready soon. Okay, here you go. I made beef stew today. You like it, right? Wow. It's good. <laughs> I'm glad. I feel happiest when you're happy. You really know what I like to eat. What are you going to do without me? You have work tomorrow, right? Would it be okay if I stay over? Uh, I have work, but I'm working remotely tomorrow, so I won't be that busy in the morning. Don't you have school, though? We have tomorrow off. It's getting late, so I'll stay over tonight. Okay. Senpai! I know you're lonely at home. How about your cute Kohai be your chat buddy? You can cry with joy. She's annoying even when she texts. Yuto, anything happen? No way. Are you texting a girl? Well, she's a girl, but it's more like she's teasing me than us having a conversation. I see. Why do you seem a bit upset? Nothing. How is that person like usually, by the way? Uh, let's see. Like this. 
I think she doesn't like me, so she's making fun of me. Yuto, you're so dense. About what? Uh, never mind. So you're frustrated that you're being made fun of by her. Well, yeah, she does it every time I see her. But it's also true that I don't have a girlfriend. Senpai! Why won't you reply? That's why you're not popular. Ugh, so annoying. Oh I, oh, I have an idea. Hey, Nanami, can I ask you a favor? What is it? Can you pretend to be my girlfriend tomorrow? If I pretend to have a girlfriend, then she would stop teasing me. Alright, I'll do it if it's for you. The next day, I was having an online meeting with Kuwahara. Tanaka Senpai, it's unfortunate that you can't see me in person today. It can't be helped, so we can talk a lot over this video call. Yeah, that'll be great. Wh uh, what? You're so honest today. What happened? You're usually colder to me. It's nothing. Let's move on with the meeting. Okay. We're done! Good work, Senpai! Yeah, you too. Don't you want to talk with me more? You can call me if you're sad, anytime. You're saying nonsensical things again. I'm going to hang up. Okay. <sighs> that was fun. If we can talk just us two for this much, working from home isn't too bad. You look so good as always, too. Nanami. Huh? Is this Tanaka Senpai's voice? Wait, the call hasn't ended yet. Wait, who's Nanami? I wonder if I can ask. Nanami, I'm done. He's saying Nanami. I wonder if he has a pet. There's no way there's a girl at his house. Yuto, can I give you a hug? <laughs> yeah. Yay! Mm. I'll pour some coffee for you. You must be tired from work. No way! It's a girl and she's super cute. They're so in love with each other too. But why? I thought you didn't have a girlfriend. Yuto? Nanami. Ah, I can't! I can't watch this any longer! <sighs> I wish he told me earlier if he had a girlfriend before I started liking him. Uh, I don't know how to face him tomorrow. <laughs> Yesterday's plan unfolded perfectly. Kuwahara must think I have a girlfriend now, too. And she can't make fun of me anymore. Good morning, senpai. Oh, good morning. What's up? You seem down. I'm not. I'm doing fine. You don't look fine, though. Are you not feeling well? If you're feeling sick, I can let the chief know. Something bad just happened and I couldn't sleep. Why are you being nice to me? <laughs> you have a cute girlfriend, so don't mind me. Well, even if I do have a girlfriend, isn't it normal to worry for someone who's not feeling well? All right, I bet you're even more kind to your girlfriend. I'm jealous. What? Never mind. You should just be happy with your girlfriend. I have no idea why you're mad. You're dense, so you'll never understand. My sister told that to me too. I wouldn't know unless you tell me, so can you say it? If I'm the reason, then I want to be better. <sighs> you can ask that so easily, because you don't know what I'm feeling. It's too late now, but I'll tell you, since you're dense. I wanted to be your girlfriend. I like you, Tanaka-senpai. The reason I was teasing you was because I wanted to talk to you. What? Uh, didn't you hate me? Why would you go talk to someone numerous times if you hate that person? But you have a girlfriend, so don't talk to me since it'll just make me feel miserable. Uh, wait, about yesterday... I don't want to hear stories about your girlfriend. I, I'm going to go. Uh, hey. After that, I've been ignoring Senpai. It's not good to talk to him either, since his girlfriend probably wouldn't be too happy about it. Okay, when you're heartbroken, sweet things are the way to heal. <laughs> it's Saturday, so I'll go out to change my mood. I came to an all-you-can-eat sweets place. Calories are daunting, but today is a special day. Wow, this looks so good. It's pretty crowded, huh? That girl there... Why is Tanaka-senpai's girlfriend here? 
I was trying to distract myself and change my mood, but with her here, it'll just open up my wood more. In person, she looks even cuter and young. Um, can I help you? Uh, I'm sorry. What? Sorry for asking you out of nowhere, but you're Yuto Tanaka's girlfriend, right? No, I'm his sister. What? Oh, uh, are you from his work? You were having an online meeting a few days ago. Uh, yes, that's me. So, you're his sister and not his girlfriend? You don't need to speak formally to me. I'm a high schooler. Thanks for looking after my brother. Uh, no, it's more like he looks after me. So, you really are his sister? Yes. Can you tell me stories about him? I wonder if Kuwahara's already here. Senpai, good morning! Uh, good morning. You're in a good mood today. Senpai, I heard you actually don't have a girlfriend. I actually ran into Nanami on Saturday, and I heard that she pretended to be your girlfriend. <laughs> You're so cute to have done that just to try to look good. Really? Sorry to have deceived you. How about a date as an apology? Uh, a date? I told you, I like you, Tanaka-senpai. You seem to be dense, so I'm going to be straightforward. I don't want to regret anything. Uh, please be nice to me. After that, Kuwahara has been approaching me often. Now, I understand that she wasn't just making fun of me. Senpai, I'll make food today. I know you haven't had a girlfriend before, so I'll cook you a meal, cooked by a girl. So you're teasing me as usual. It means that I like you. This will continue until you like me back. Really? But I really like you. What? You, 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 you like me? Well, if you're that straightforward with me, and honestly, you're really cute. Uh, I'm not cute. I'm also pretty annoying. Even so, by the time I knew it, I like you. Could you go out with me? Senpai, I'm super happy. Of course. And just like that, we decided to date. Sarika is also close to Nanami, and we often go on dates as a trio on weekends. Sarika continues to seize me, but I know that that's her love language. <laughs>